Hi friends, I am Sujoy and I welcomes you to my new series of tutorials where I am telling you how to find out the LU decomposition of a matrix and many more things regarding LU decomposition. Well, this is my second video in the series. In my previous video, I have explained how to find out the LU decomposition by shortcut method. And today in this video, I will tell you how to find out LU decomposition by crowds method. If you want to watch my that video and any of my previous videos, link to all of them is given in the video description below. So check that out. So let's start the LU decomposition by crowds method. This is our original square matrix A. And we know A is equals to L into U, where L is a lower triangular matrix. Lower triangular matrix is a square matrix where all the values are there in the lower triangle and upper triangular values are all 0 and next is u which is the upper triangular matrix where all the elements are there in the upper triangle and values below the diagonal are all 0 and also in upper triangular matrix the diagonal elements are all 1 in a matrix this is called the diagonal on a matrix, there are two diagonals, one at each side. Generally, we consider the left diagonal or the principal diagonal. And all the values on the diagonal are called the diagonal elements. So here, 1, 15 and 26 are the diagonal elements. And the lower triangular and the upper triangular values are found with respect to the diagonal. Few more basics. As you may know, this is called row 1 or R1. This is R2 and this is R3. Similarly, this is called column 1 or C1, this is C2 and this is C3. And on a matrix, every element has a coordinate to represent it. For example, the coordinate for the first element is A11, where A is the matrix name and first one represents the row 1 and second one represents the column 1. So A11 represents the first row, first column element. Similarly, for this 20, the coordinates will be A23, where the number 2 denotes second row and 3 denotes the third column. So A23 represents the second row, third column element. So we know A is equals to L into U, but we don't know the actual numeric L and numeric U submatrices. We just know the general format of L and U. We have to find out the real matrices L and U. So for that, first we will multiply L and U in their standard format. For this, you need to know the matrix multiplication process. If you already know it, it's very easy for you. But if you don't, don't worry, I will make it easy for you. So basically what we will do, we will multiply each row of L with each column of U and write that out vertically in our product matrix downward. So first we will multiply R1 of L with C1 of U and write that out in our first column. So let's do it with me. L11 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0. That's equals to L11 plus remaining values are 0. So that's written here L11. Next R2 of L into C1 of U. So that's equals to L21 into 1 plus L22 into 0 plus 0 into 0. So that's equals to L21 plus 0 plus 0. So that's equals to L21. Next is R3 of L into C1 of U. So that's equals to L31 into 1 plus L32 into 0 plus L33 into 0. So that's equals to L31 plus 0 plus 0. So that's equals to L31 written here. So since the first column is done on U, now we will move to column 2 of U and we will multiply each row of L with C2 of U. So let's do it L11 into U12 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 0. So that's equals to L11 into U12 written here. So if you want to know the matrix multiplication process in details, you pause the video here and see this. Next, we will multiply R2 of L with C2 
टू ऑफ यू सो एल टू वन इंटू यू वन टू प्लस एल टू टू इंटू वन प्लस जीरो इंटू जीरो दैट्स इक्वल्स टू एल टू वन इंटू यू वन टू प्लस एल टू टू दैट इज रिटर्न हियर नेक्स्ट विल मल्टीप्लाई आर थ्री ऑफ एल विथ सी टू ऑफ यू तो दैट्स एल थ्री वन इंटू यू वन टू प्लस एल थ्री टू इंटू वन प्लस एल थ्री थ्री इंटू जीरो दैट्स इक्वल्स टू एल थ्री वन इंटू यू वन टू प्लस एल थ्री टू इंटू वन दैट इज रिटर्न हियर सी वन एंड सी टू आर डन नेक्स्ट विल मूव टू सी थ्री ऑफ यू नाउ विल मल्टीप्लाई Each row of L with C3 of U. So L11 into U13 plus 0 into U23 plus 0 into 1. That's equals to L11 into U13. Written here. So that is L21 into U13 plus L22 into U23 plus 0 into 1. That's equals to L12 into U13 plus L22 into U23. That is written here. Next, we we'll multiply R3 of L with C3 of U. That's equal to L31 into U13 plus L32 into U23 plus L33 into 1. That's equal to L31 into U13 plus L32 into U23 plus L33. Into one. That is this element. So that's it. We have so we have successfully multiplied L into U, and we know the product of L into U is equal to our matrix A. So that is written here. This is our original matrix A. So now we will compare each element from here with corresponding element over here and find out their numeric values. So let's move to the next page. i have rewritten the portion from last page so we can easily find out the numeric values so for that we will make a table like this column 1 column 2 and column 3 and we will write column 1 column 2 and column 3 and we will deduce the numeric values so let us do it l11 represents to 1 from here Which is written here. L21 represents numeric three, which is written here, and L31 corresponds to numeric two, which is written here. So column one is done. Let's move to column two. L11 into U12 corresponds to numeric three, which is written here. And now we'll deduce the real values. So you already know L11 is equals to one, so which is written here into U12 is equals to three. So that is equals to one into U12 equals to three, so U12 is equals to three. And next is L11 into U13 that corresponds to four, which is written here. So we know L11 is equals to one. Into U13 is equals to four, so U13 is equals to four. So row one is done. Let's move to row two. In row two, first element value we know that is L21 is equals to three. Next we'll move to this element. This corresponds to 15, which is written here. So we know the L21 value, which is 3, into U12 value, which we calculated. That is also 3 plus L22 value is equals to 15. So 3 into 3, 9 plus L22 is equals 15. So L22 is equals to 15 minus 9. That's equals to 6. And next is this value, which corresponds to 20, which is written. Here, so we know L21 is equals to 3 into U13, which is equals to 4 written here, plus L22, which you obtain 
that is equals to 6 into u23 is equals to 20. So by simplifying this, 3 into 4, 12 plus 6 into u23 is equals to 20. If we transfer the 12 to right hand side, you will get 20 minus 12, 8. So 6 into u23 is equals to 8. So u23 is equals to 8 by 6 or simplify that, we will get u23 is equals to 4 by 3. So row 2 is also done. Let's proceed to row 3. And in row 3, the first element value we know that is L31 is equals to 2. Next is this element which corresponds to 18. That is written here. So L31 that is 2 into U12 that is 3 plus L32 is equals to 18. So 2 into 3 is 6 plus L23 is equals to 18. So if we transfer the 6 to right hand side, so we will get L32 is equals to 18 minus 6 that is equals to 12. And finally, our last element that corresponds to 26, which is written here. So L31 is equals to 2 into U13 is equals to 4 plus L32 that is equals to 12 written here into U23 that is equals to 4 by 3 plus L33 is equals to 26. So by simplifying this 2 into 4 8 plus 12 into 4 is 48 by 3 that is 16. So 8 plus 16 24 plus L33 is equals to 26. So L33 is equals to 26 minus 24 that is equals to 2. So L33 is equals to 2. Remember in lower triangular matrix you have to find out only the lower triangular values. Remaining values are all 0 and in upper triangular matrix you have to find out only the upper triangular values and diagonal values are on 1 by default. So let's put the values L11 is equals to 1, L21 is equals to 3, L31 or third row first column value is equals to 2, L22 is equals to 6 and L32 is equals to 12. and L33 is equals to 2. So matrix L is done. Let's find out the matrix U. So let's put the values. U12 is equals to 3. U13 is equals to 4. U23 is equals to 4 by 3. And that's it. So by crowds method, we have successfully find out L and U. And if you multiply the matrix L and matrix U, you will get the original matrix A. That is our this matrix. You can check that out yourself. But remember, matrix A is equal to L into U. But the opposite is not true. Matrix A is not equal to U into L. If you want to know more about this, please watch my previous video. And as I mentioned in my previous video that L and U are not unique for a matrix. There may be more than one L and more than one U for a given matrix that I will show you now. So this is our original matrix A and for which we obtained this L sub matrix and this U sub matrix. But see in my previous video for the same matrix A we obtained a different U sub matrix and a different L sub matrix. You can see the U and L sub matrices are different for the same A original matrix. So L and U are not unique. One more thing I want to notice that in my previous video I took the lower triangular matrix where the diagonal elements are all one. But in my present video I took a 
use a matrix format where the diagonal elements are one one but in l the diagonal elements are all not one so this is a matter of representation some books tend to follow this representation of l and u and some other books like to follow this representation of l and u no matter which representation you follow as long as multiplying l and u gives you the original matrix a and whenever you are following any representation just stick to that don't mix uh, two other representations that may lead to an error so that's it for now how was the video let me know in the comments below i will upload more videos on lnu decomposition so don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that when i upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe it takes a lot of effort and research to make a video like this so please appreciate my effort by liking and sharing the video also by sharing the video we can help someone else by sharing the knowledge because knowledge is meant to be shared so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing